Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com and I've been telling you for weeks that I'm going to show you the new product that I'm going to sell in my experiment on whether or not I can sell art online. Now I did tell you already the reasons that I'm not going to be selling my paper mache sculptures and mostly because it, they just take too long and I wouldn't be able to produce enough of them to actually build a real business around. I have decided instead that I'm going to sell prints now, in order to create my prints in the first place, I'm creating digital paintings, but I can imagine a whole lot of you thinking, oh, well, then none of the rest of this video has anything to do with me because I don't want to do digital paintings. I want to make real ones. I want to make sculptures. I want to do uh, original paintings, you know, something else. I really want you to know that the reasons that I chose to do my paintings digitally was completely personal. It just has to do with... Um, well, one thing is that I, I saw some out online, I thought they were really great, and I think it's really, really fun to be learning how to do it uh, from kids that are like 50 years younger than I am, and that is just so cool. I really like learning new things, that made a really big difference. The other reason, just happens to be helping me right now, if this guy sits on my keyboard, it's slightly irritating. If he walks over a brand new painting that's still wet and gets paw prints all over it, then I'm going to yell. I'm probably going to say some bad words. It's going to scare the dogs. You know, I could lock myself into my studio, but that's not going to make either one of us happy. Now, it would actually be easier if I, if I didn't have the cat, I, if I didn't mind locking myself in, then it would actually have been less expensive and a lot easier to make my prints from original paintings on paper or canvas. And then they just scan it and send it on uh, to the printer. Easy, easy project. Uh, I had to buy software and I had to learn how to do it, which meant I had to buy books. I had to uh, purchase videos and stuff that weren't available for free online. So there was a cost involved in learning how to do it. And it slowed me down a little bit because I had to learn something new. If you already have something that you are thinking about selling online, you would be way ahead of me. Now the specific reason that I wanted to do prints came about because of the research they did when I was trying to decide if I should sell the sculptures or not. Uh, I realized then that reproducing my sculptures would simply take too much time. Paper mache reproductions are faster than the original, but they're still they're still made by hand and they're still painted by hand. So each one of them would be really a um, enhanced copy, I guess you could say. Um, not exactly original because they're coming out of a mold, but there's original painting on every single one of them and it still takes a lot of time. And what it would mean is that I would design a series and then remake those same exact thing over and over and over again, which I really hate doing. I have done that before, I hate it. So what I wanted to do was to hire myself as a designer, I will spend my time painting new things and let somebody else do the reproductions. They're going to be printed at Printful. That's where these uh, two came from. I have two more coming in the mail, I hope, today. I've already got the frames for them. I'm not going to include the frames. I cannot afford to do that. I'm just going to be selling the prints. But they do uh, fit a standard frame. And I think they look beautiful. The colors are exactly the same as they were on my computer when I was painting them. Um, they've just done a beautiful job. It's museum quality paper and uh, acid free ink. So I think it's just perfect. I promised I would show you how I'm putting all the pieces together for this new art business. As long as you remember this is an experiment. I've been online you know, like for 18 years, but I have not created an online store so these are ideas that you can use going forward but don't take me as you know gospel or anything do your own research let me show you how i'm putting it together so this is my new website at johnnygood.com it's going to change it's not going to look exactly the same in a couple of days i'm going to use a different template squarespace makes that really easy i just need to make a couple of changes and the template i'm using doesn't work quite the way I want it to. It looks great though. I've got eight 
prints on it so far. I am working really hard to put out more. So this is how uh, basically I'm setting it up. Right on the front page you'll be able to see all of the prints that are available. That could change too as I add more. And then once you get there you can click on any of the images that happen to be interesting and you would go straight to the sales page. The way I have the sales page set up is that you always see a large version of the print at the top. You can actually click on those and make them even bigger. Then down below you can see how it would look in a room if you framed it and you can also see that there are two sizes. In order to get this to actually work as an online store, I do have to have a buy button. Because I need my um, system to be completely automated, I do not want to have to uh, make all of the orders manually. So I got that Add to Cart button from Shopify.com. It's their Shopify Lite, I think they call it. It's the least expensive um, subscription you can get from that company. It costs $9 a month. I did hand build the, the page rather than letting them do it just because I wanted that add to cart button to be after I had a little bit of text explaining that the uh, print comes in two different sizes. I didn't think that it just was that obvious if the button was at the top of the text the way they wanted to put it. So I decided to be contentious and do it myself. Um, I tend to do that. <laughs> Once you click on it then the, the cart comes over on the right hand side. You can click on the um, checkout page and it, it works seamlessly. It's, uh, it's all secure of course. The uh, Shopify uh, uh, works with thousands of websites, some of them really big and so they have the system uh, worked out really well and it's easy to put it together but you have to put all of your products on the Shopify page and then um, put the buttons on your page and um, it, it does take time but not that much time and there certainly isn't anything that isn't uh, easy to learn how to do. I'll just take you to another page real quick to show you that I have them all set up the same way and I didn't have to redesign every single page uh, because they're all the same. Squarespace lets you try out the program for free for a certain number of days and when I did that it took me a couple of days before I even was willing to try doing it. It just looked too hard. Uh, look at all the different um, <laughs> pages they have on the settings and stuff. Oh my god, you know, it just, I didn't know well, okay, it, it just was something new. I was so used to WordPress, I, um, and I thought this was going to be a lot more difficult. It turns out it's not hard at all. And the way I finally made myself go ahead and do it was I found a YouTube video. Uh, a very nice gentleman and his son <laughs> showed me how to do it. Uh, this is a fantastic video. I strongly recommend that you go ahead and watch it if uh, you want a Squarespace site um, and open up two browsers. Watch the video in one browser, um, watch him do something, stop the video and go do that exact thing on your Squarespace site and by the time you finish that video, which is an hour and 30 minutes long, uh, but once you're done, you will actually have an operating website. It won't look exactly the way you want it to. You're still going to have to do a lot of fiddling in order to get it exactly the way you want it to look. And you'll still have to learn a bunch of things because there are going to be things that you want your website to do that he didn't bother to mention because he's trying to put everything in uh, so quickly. But you will have a website that works and you'll feel comfortable with just going out to Google and saying, hey, I, I need to know how to put a newsletter sign up form on my site. And you'll find out really fast. I'll put a link to that video down below so that you can go out and watch it. If you want to try building a website with Squarespace, it doesn't cost you any money to play with it, uh, at least for a couple of days. You just go ahead and uh, click on the button up on the very far upper right and that will take you directly to a page where you get to pick out the template that you want and you can go ahead and get started. 
As I mentioned before, I don't want to do all the printing of my prints. I actually want to make bigger ones than I would be able to do at home, and I think Printful does a much better job than I could anyway. So I went ahead and set up an account with them, and then I set up an account with Shopify as well so that I could integrate everything. You don't have to do it that way. You can go ahead and use Squarespace's e-commerce function and then just manually order from Printful, or you can go ahead and print them yourself yourself if you wanted to and use the Squarespace system. If you would like to set up a Shopify buy button like the one I'm using, uh, then you go to shopify.com, hit the pricing button that's at the very top, and then scroll down past all the expensive plans and you'll see in really little type Shopify Lite. They have a lot of tutorials on their site. Uh, you can find almost anything you need even if you have to go to Google and say how do I do this or how do I do that? It's really not all that hard, but it does take time. So that's how the actual store is being built. Um, there's still things that I need to do. I need to get a better uh, newsletter sign up because everybody says the newsletter is the key to online sales. And that's the reason that I'm going to be shifting over to a different template. Changing templates on Squarespace is really easy. Now the next part of the whole process is marketing. I have to learn how to do that. I have done a lot of search engine optimization for other websites like ultimatepapermache.com gets sometimes 100,000 people uh, a month and that was really hard to get those people in the beginning. I had to do a lot of work and I really, really struggled at it in the beginning. That was a long time ago, that was in 2008 and everything has changed since then as far as getting Google to actually find you. Um, the things that I did in order to get people to come to my blog to simply would not work now. I have to learn the whole process all over again. I don't mind learning things, so that's okay with me. Um, but I do need to get traffic back to that website, and it needs to be very specific. Traffic has to be the kind of people who might actually be interested in buying what I have to offer. If I Put that if I do the marketing wrong, I could end up with traffic who say, well, that's really nice, but they don't actually want one. That doesn't do me any good. I definitely don't want to spend any money on advertising that would bring in the wrong kind of traffic or would just you know, cost me money and not bring any traffic at all. So there's, there's things I really need to learn how to do. As soon as I learn things <laughs> about marketing, I'll show you what I'm doing as I go along but we won't know the actual results of what I'm doing until sometime down the road. I'm going to put some links down below this video that uh, of videos that I'm really hoping you will watch too. I think they're really great. I've actually subscribed to these people because they keep telling me things that I really want to know. <laughs> One of them, uh, Dave Colby, is actually telling you why he was in the past printing all of his work through Printful and having them do the fulfillment like I'm doing it. He's decided to do something else. I don't know if he's right or not. He probably doesn't know either, but I, but I do want to applaud him for being willing to consider making changes even after you go to a whole lot of work and put something together. Sometimes it doesn't work the way you want it to, and so he's making some changes, and I think that's really cool, uh, especially that it's cool that he's actually telling us about it, <laughs> and if it turns out that he's wrong, he'll probably tell us about that too. I think that's just really cool. Um, so go check out those videos down below. Look at my videos on my channel if you want to make stuff, and then come visit me at ultimatepapermache.com. I would like to see you there. <laughs> Bye.